I feel like only the OG subscribers here know where I am, but I'm currently in my parents' home. Finals just ended and it was a bizarre week and my parents surprised me. We had a really good day today, but I had something on my mind that I thought would be something that you guys can hear and something that could be powerful to you. And so I know it's not the most ideal setup by any means, but I think the message is important. So let's get on with it. I want to say that there's a topic in which I haven't seen anybody talk about. There's a topic in which that I think gets overlooked way too many times and it goes beyond any type of study technique or learning strategy that I can help you guys with. And it's this thing that has allowed me to have a lot of success in not just my academics, but also everything outside of school as well. And I wanna share it with you and I'll just come out with it right now. Uh, hopefully this will be a shorter video, but it's what I call a winner's mentality. It's how you're able to view what you do. Cause I promise you 10 out of 10 times perspective drives performance. The way that you view what you do affects how you do what you do. And I think too many times it's gone way unchecked where people have such a negative thought, a negative feeling about school. People now think it's cool to, to think that school is something worth making fun of. It, it's not something worth taking seriously. It, it's the butt of all jokes. It's something that you can't wait for it to be over. And I think that is so damaging. There's a lot of also people that say, oh, school's the matrix or whatever the case may be. And I'm not somebody that will say school, especially university is meant for everyone, right? But there are a ton, a ton of occupations that are so admirable and respectable and high earning, whatever you want to categorize a successful position to be, there's a lot of that. When you're talking about doctors, if you're talking about nurses, if you're talking about engineers, if you're talking about architects, if you're talking about lawyers, there's a lot of these professions that require an education. And I do not like when people are making it harder by having this negative feeling, this negative thought. And I mean, if you if you look on social media, that's all you see. You search up anything school related and it's people making fun of it, right? Like they, they think it's cool to make fun of it. But I just want to warn you when you are consuming that type of content. And if you are somebody that represents that type of content in your day to day, you are making school way harder than it needs to be. If you think that those thoughts, those feelings, those things that you say, those things that you think, those things that you laugh about with your friends, isn't going to have an impact on how you perform in school. If it's, if you think that it's not going to be intimate to you, if you think that it's something that you can just joke about, but then actually put your best foot forward when it matters, I would like to challenge you on that point. Cause I don't know if that's the case. And I want to tell you exactly how I view school and how I've been able to view everything else that quote unquote has allowed me to have a lot of success up to this point. And I want to start with a story, right? And this is a story in which all of my mentors know about at my previous internships. A lot of my close professors know about this, even though those are tough conversations and weird conversations to have. Uh, all my close friends know about this. And it's the idea of why I chose biomedical engineering in the first place. I chose biomedical engineering, not just because I'm fascinated with biology and I love the fact that engineering itself is such a sought out type of um, occupation. It's something that's always going to be around. It's something that teaches you so many fundamental principles about how to solve complex problems. Those are all really, really important. But the main reason why I chose biomedical engineering is because I knew it was going to be the hardest major at my school. I knew it, right? It's pretty common knowledge that biomedical engineering is one of the toughest majors that you can enter. Why? Well, it's filled with so many disciplines. And so you're gonna have a taste of electrical engineering. You're gonna have a taste of mechanical engineering. You're gonna have a taste of fluid dynamics. You're gonna have a taste of chemical engineering. You're gonna have a taste of computational engineering. You're gonna have to learn how to do mathematical models. You're going to have to, at the beginning too, take a lot of these gen eds that fills in the other parts. So English, any type of elective you can imagine, biomedical engineers require you to do that. And that's why it's one of the toughest, especially in your first few years, they're known to be weed out classes. Specific, my STEM majors know this, they're weed out classes because they're meant to weed out freshmen. They're meant to weed out people that can't handle that type of workload. I knew it was going to be really hard and that perfectly embodies how I envision school. And it's this, it's the greatest test. That's the mentality, it's the greatest test. It's the greatest reflection of who you are. Let's be real. There's always going to be instances in where we have 
bad professors. There's always going to be instances in which we have assignments we don't want to be doing. There's always going to be classes that we're not good at. Trust me in biomedical engineering, a lot of these different disciplines, when you go into them, you're able to kind of adhere to a certain strength and you can use that to go through your education. In biomedical engineering, you might be good at the science stuff. You might be really good at the biology. Like I, I feel really comf comfortable and confident in that. But when it comes to computational engineering, when it comes to anything with programming related and MATLAB, yeah, I'm not the best at that. I know it, but I have to take classes for that almost every term and really high level classes of that as well. And so school's filled with those types of moments where you know that it's not the most ideal thing that you can be doing in terms of your desires, in terms of what you want to be doing. That's probably not it, but it's the greatest challenge because it requires you to sit in that suck. It, it, it allows you to really showcase to yourself what you're made out of. It allows you to dig really deep down and build that level of resilience. And why is this so important? Well, because it's not just school. It's not just school that that type of experience happens. In anything that you do in life, no matter how much you love it, you think that it won't be hard? You think that there won't be aspects of it that you don't like to be doing? You're so completely wrong. You're so completely wrong. I've always wanted to start a business. I've always wanted to own my own business. And I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to be able to do it and have success with it. You think that I want to be doing all this legal stuff? You think I want to do a lot of the nitty gritty website development stuff? I'm not good at that stuff. You think that I want to be staying up late and working on the site and working on customer support and working on with logistics and working on with manufacturers? No, it's not very fun, but I know that I am needing to do that type of work for me to get on with it. But because I've trained myself with school, right? Like we spend most of our lives as young people in school as the main type of task for us throughout the day. So you might as well use it to build the level of soft skills that you need. Yes, the technical skills are so important, but it's those soft skills. It's how you can develop the resiliency. It's how can you sit in the suck. It's about how can you handle really stressful situations? How can you manage your time? Because all of those types of skills are transferable to anything that you want to do in the future. I have a great story too. So um, I've been very fortunate recently to join an entrepreneurship program for about six months. And in there, I got to meet a lot of really cool people and they were so inspiring and I've learned so many things that I've never learned about before in business, right? Because I've grown my whole last four years specifically in the science field and the engineering field. And this really brought in my perspective, but it shocked me. It really shocked me how many people in there weren't having more success. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of these individuals are in there, are in the entrepreneurship program on a day in and day out basis. So they've been doing that for years and years and years. And after I'm having conversations with these people, um, they're great people and I learned so much from them and I think that they learned a lot from me as well. And I would sit with, especially the younger ones, and I would talk to them about why is it that you feel that you haven't been able to get past the whole initiation phase, right? Like the whole brainstorming phase, you have this great idea. Why don't you think that you can execute? Well, it's because a lot of them can't sit in the sock. It's because their mental is messed up. It's because they're, they're so stuck in, in, in our society today of such short-term gratification and they can't get themselves to sit in it, even when it's not going right, and to endure the stress, to be able to say, yeah, I don't wanna be doing this right now. I do not wanna be going through the legal papers right now because I don't know how to start up a business legally and I don't know how to do that right, so I'm not gonna do it at all. I'm gonna procrastinate on it. And I'm like, if you had done that, like six months ago, even if it sucked, that type of experience now in your second and your third business, you probably would have been able to do that a lot faster instead of relying on somebody else to do it for you and waiting on them. It's the mental. It's it's really about can you endure the level of stress and turmoil that school is going to, oh, I'm sorry that there's a plane going across. That, that's the winner mindset. I truly believe so. It's taking the challenge in front of you and saying, you know what? I know I don't want to be doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to be exceptional at it. That's also another aspect of it too, right? It's the idea that people think that school is a joke, right? They think that they don't have to try in school just because everyone else around in their friend group are talking about how school sucks and how they just can't wait for the weekend and stuff, that they think that they need to embody that type of same mentality. And no, you shouldn't because 
if you carry that mindset, if you carry what I call a loser's mentality, right? You're going to share that with anything else you want to do in life as well. I've seen it. I'm 23 years old. It's crazy for me to say that. I just turned 23, but I see it now. I see it now. Like when all of my friends that I grew up with are graduated and now going out into the real world, I see it. I can see it. And I do not want that to be you where you are growing up you graduate college and you're the one that's not left with any type of actual job opportunity and you're the one that's stuck and feel like you have nowhere to go in life, right? And that you were still living in your high school era. You were still living in your freshman year at college era. You think that drinking and partying and all that stuff is so much fun? When you are left alone without a job with loads of school debt, that's not fun. It's not cute anymore, right? And it gets me so worked up because I don't think people understand that the mentality side of things is so much more important than anything else that's practical. Like anything else in front of you, if you can have that type of winner's mentality where you can really tackle all these challenges and embrace them and excel in them, that you're going to be able to be the stand out type of individual. I remember just recently when I had just spoken to somebody when I was growing up with, because a lot of people had graduated. So now when you go back home, everyone's around, you, you kind of connect with them again. And they'll say things like, hey, we've seen all the success that you've been able to have. And I'll have those conversations and those that I've been close with, I'll share them with them, specific numbers and um, things that I've been able to achieve and things that I've been able to help my family with and things that I've been able to uh, really achieve in terms of my dreams and aspirations already at the age of 23. And they're like, why are you still in biomedical engineering? Why have you not dropped out yet? And I'm like, you, you, you missed it. You missed the whole point. It's the idea of money or the idea of popularity or the idea of opportunity was never the end goal. It was never the end goal. It was always the mentality. It was always the idea of, can I embrace this stuff and learn that? Can I train myself that when I see difficult moments that I'm not going to fall back. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm not going to think that I can't do it. I know it'll be really, really tough, but I'm going to sit in it. That was the whole point. And so biomedical engineering, not only did I do my bachelor's in it, I'm about to graduate with my master's in it at the same time as a Dean's List student, right? So to this day, I cannot take my foot off the pedal. I cannot, and I will not. And, and it, it's mind blowing that people keep telling me like, oh, you can relax a little bit. I'm like, this is fun to me. This is enjoyable. Like the fact that, yeah, I, I'm in tougher classes, right? I, I'm in a lot of classes throughout the day and I'm in classes till like 9 p.m. in all my master's classes. And I, and I sit there and yeah, do I not want to come to lecture? And yeah, it, if most people had the level of quote unquote success, what, what the people think that is success in terms of the monetary, in terms of the status, in terms of whatever you want to call it. Yeah, most people wouldn't go to their 9 p.m. class, right? Like they wouldn't do that especially when you're going to like I'm in a position where I know that I will graduate with exceptional grades like I've built that up for the last four years that's not going to change in the last six months of my college career but I will not take my foot off the pedal I will not stop trying my very best in these exams I will not stop trying to not just do that but I'm gonna be exceptional still with my business stuff I'm gonna be exceptional still with um, how I treat my body in the gym and how hard I'm gonna push myself I'm gonna be an exceptional boyfriend I'm gonna be an exceptional son and it's not me saying exceptional as in I'm not somebody that doesn't make mistakes I'm not saying exceptional that I'm even good at it I'm saying exceptional again the type of mindset I'm going to continue trying I'm going to put in my best effort I think that's exceptional right like that that is what I'm talking about like the idea that you don't let any type of external situations influence who you are you don't let any external situation influence what you're going to do. You don't let any external situation influence how you feel about what you do. You're never going to let those things influence your perspective. And that's why your performance won't ever change. Right. And so people don't understand that the type of money or the status or the opportunity, those are just things that just happen. But the actual thing that gets you there is the winner's mentality. It's about how you view what you do. It's about never letting people in insert negativity into your mind. Like I, I know, I know that I'm probably sounding so bizarre because you're probably so accustomed to talking about school in such a bad way and thinking that it's funny and stuff. And I know that most people are gonna watch this and think like, oh, he's crazy. Like uh, uh, he's weird for thinking about school that, that it's so important stuff. And it's like, yes, there's gonna be a lot of things that suck about school. And to be honest, one day I hope that I'm able to change 
into the educational infrastructure. Like I think that there's a lot of things that can be improved upon it, but there's a lot a lot, a lot of really successful people, a lot of really respectable people, a lot of people that have been able to do exceptional things with their lives after that they've gone through the school experience and have excelled in that as well, right? I'm not somebody that thinks that, oh, like you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do school, you should drop out and stuff. I think that it works for certain people, but I think it's a dangerous proposition to leave a lot of young people, especially people from my background. And perhaps it's, it's your background as well. I come from a Korean background, right? An Asian background. I think that being able to respect and honor your parents is the coolest thing ever. I love it. I think it's so awesome. I think it's so noble. I think it's something that takes a lot of courage, but I think you should absolutely do it, right? And so, yes, my parents grew up in a culture that's very different from mine. So sometimes I don't understand their expectations for school when I was growing up. Sometimes I don't understand why they put so much importance into school. It doesn't mean that I have to disrespect their type of input. It doesn't mean that I have to disrespect their opinion. I listen to their opinion and think, if that's how I'm going to absolutely give back to them, if that's how I'm going to honor them, then sure, sign me up. I'm going to do it and I'm gonna be exceptional at it. And then outside of it, I'm gonna do everything that I wanna do. I wanna run my business. I wanna be able to do social media, all that cool stuff that I like doing too. I'm gonna to be exceptional at that as well, as well right? And, and it's it's like, I know that if you are coming from an Asian background, right, you definitely relate to what I'm saying. And I hope that you think it's also cool that you are honoring your parents. And I know that we, we kind of fell into this type of society, especially where I, where I live in America. It's like, yeah, forget your parents. Um, don't listen to them. They don't know what's best for you. And um, it's your life. I'm like, yes, 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 100%. It is your life and it's your responsibility to do everything that you want to do in life and be exceptional at it. But those opportunities that you have, do not get it twisted. You wouldn't be in this world without your parents, right? And obviously there are a lot of situations that if you don't have a good relationship with your parents, if you don't have a good relationship with your family, obviously that's not what I'm talking about here, right? I'm talking about those people that do have loving parents that you have good relationships with them and you still think it's cool to just ignore their input and think, yeah, you came from a different culture than I. Yeah, you don't understand what I'm going through. Yeah, you don't understand today's day and age. I think that's not cool whatsoever. It's not cool to be like that. It's cool to utilize school as the ultimate test, okay? To embody everything that you know about the winner's mentality, to embody everything that you know about having actual success in the long term. We're individuals that know, you and I right now, if you are in this community, if you stay for as long as you have in this video, you are a prime example of somebody like me that understands it's in the discomfort that we grow. That we understand that in our society where most of the Gen Z, um, and we also know like millennials that, that are within our close range of age, like my brother, and we're all susceptible to this feeling of being constantly distracted, not knowing how to follow through with things. We are all able to scroll, like have you ever seen someone scroll through their uh, for you pages that are explore pages? Like it's quick, it's ba 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 ba. It's instant gratification, X, Y, and Z, like all the time. If you think that you can do that and just continue doing that on a day in and day out basis, hate the idea of school and not try in school because you just don't like it, you, you don't think it's for you, Etc. And you just don't put any of your um, any of your time and effort into that. If you think that that's not going to carry over to anything else that you want to do outside of school, and that you want to do upon your graduation, you are out of your mind. And I hope that this is something that can wake you guys all up. Recently, I started to get a lot of DMs at, during finals week, especially while I was posting on my stories all the time. And people are saying, I am so excited for finals week to come around. I am so excited for the new year to come around. I'm so excited, June. I can't wait to take on this journey with you in January when I get back into my next term. And that made me feel so happy like genuinely so happy because not once did I ever say that I thoroughly enjoy every aspect of school. No, I know though that school is really, really important and we're all going to be able to develop and grow personally with that. It's like, also, sorry, uh, this is side tangent. There's so many people that do this like whole personal development thing and you, you'll, you'll see them apply themselves in school and it's not there, the effort's not there. You wanna talk about like personal development? Be, be somebody, okay, again, exceptional doesn't mean that you have to get all A's, 
Be somebody that'll apply yourself in school. Yeah, everyone else around you do doesn't want to do it. Everyone else around you is complaining about it. Everyone else around you thinks that this is a waste of time. Go ahead and be like everyone else and see how much that gets you in life and how, how excited you'll be when you're 30 and you're still doing what everyone else around you is doing. Change your perspective so you can change your performance and that I promise you will lead you into a winner life, right? Whatever that looks like for you, your winner life might not look like the same as me. Whatever's important to you, you're going to be able to apply yourself because you already know how to do things that are hard that you don't wanna be doing. So I hope that this community can continue to be a true representation of a different type of mentality for people our age. I really do. I hope that you can be somebody that shares this type of passion as me. I know that I'm getting riled up at like 12 a.m. right now when I know that I just, just had a really good time with my family and stuff, it's, but it's because I care. And I know right now, all of those friends that I grew up with, all of those people that are struggling right now and every single day I'm in conversation with and every single day I try to mentor and every single day I go back and talk to people that I went to high school with me that was younger than me and I, and I still talk to them this day and I try to help them, right? They're always saying like, how do I do X, Y, and Z? And, it's like a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. It's not, it's because they know me, right? Like the people that really know me know the type of work that goes into everything that I do and how much care I put into it. I love my community, like a hundred percent. People are shocked when they're like, June, you spend two hours a day responding to DMs and you still can't get through all of them. Like you respond to that many DMs every single day. And I'm like, yes, because I care about it. I care about it. And sometimes is it hard for me to stay awake and do that? Absolutely, but I know for a fact that this community is everything to me. I know that these people I truly adore and love and respect, and I would love to give my time to them in any way that I possibly can. And I know that just the DMs is one way of doing that, so I'm gonna make it a priority for me. No matter how hard it is, I'm going to do it. And there's so many creator friends that I, like, I've talked to and stuff that like, oh, we don't even do that. Like we've never responded to a DM. And I'm like, that just blows my mind. It's like when you care about something, and, and you have this type of winner's mentality, you know that all these little things and paying attention to the detail and doing things, even when they're hard, when no one else is doing them, is actually going to be what gets you success in the future. And it, it's not about the type of the, the financials, it's not, type of, it's not about the status, it's not about the opportunity. Sure, is it cool that I can do those things for my family now? Yes, is it cool that when I go out to dinner with my dad, there's never a t ever a moment now that he has to pick up a bill? Is it really cool that I can help him with his payments and stuff? Yes, yes, it's really cool for me. But all those types of things that happen is a result of the winner's mentality. So how crazy would I be to stop now that I've tasted just a little bit of success? Even if I don't make another dime, even if I don't have any type of increase in popularity, even if I don't have any more other opportunity, I know for a fact that they will come. Something will come. I know something that's meant for me according to God's plan will come because I will sit in that in the tough moments longer than most people will. I will embrace it more than most people will. So guys, perspective drives performance. The way that you view what you do affects how you do what you do. I love you guys so much. And I hope that you take this message in the right way. I hope that you're able to utilize this as a challenge for yourself. As you head into the new year, you head into this new upcoming term, change your perspective about school. Change your perspective about that test. Change your perspective about that really tough class. Change your perspective because I promise you, all these soft skills that you're building now will allow you to be the standout exceptional person upon graduation when you're in the real world, when you're doing all these things that you want to be doing in life. You're going to be that type of person that can actually have progress. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And until then, take care. Okay. <laughs>